Dean, uh, don't go to my screen real quick. That would be a tragedy. Don't do it, don't Dean. Don't do it, Dean. Whose screen am I not going to? Don't, don't do go it, to mine, Dean. Dean. Wink, wink. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Rob from Gay Guy Plays, and today on Hashtag Confirmed, oh my god, on tonight's primetime, they leaked our first look at Chroma Prime, and oh my god, he looks fucking fantastic. Now, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, the original model was one of those things that I was very curious to see how they would kind of work around it because he kind of looks like a scrotum. I mean, the texture, like, it's, it's a little scrotum-esque and a part of me was very like, hmm, what are they going to do to clean it up? But they fucking went to town and they cleaned his ass up. It's no longer that weird, like, bulbous, like, odd texture, like, it actually looks like sleek lines, and oh my god, it's so fucking fantastic. His arms look amazing, the shoulders are fantastic as well. He no longer has that weird kind of like, I don't know how to like explain the tail, but it looked like a platypus tail. They've actually changed that out, so it kind of like links into itself. Almost kind of like the Prime, um, or the, it starts with an O. It's the Cyandana that came with Neckers, but it looks very similar to that. And then he's got this crazy champion's belt looking thing on there that kind of like lays down in front. What is that called? Like a crotch hider. You know what I mean? The crotch Cyandanas that we were talking about. But he's got one of those, and it looks absolutely fantastic. My favorite part of it all, though, is that helmet. That freaking helmet. Now, the original Chroma just looked like, you know, they took a dead dragon and they just tossed it on top of Chroma and boom, there's your helmet. This one, however, looks way more like reminiscent of like a Final Fantasy Dragoon. You know, it looks like a Dragon Knight helm and it's got, oh my god, it's just the, got the greatest shape ever. I'm really, really curious to see who actually worked on this because it feels very inspired. Just the whole thing looks so much more polished. The whole thing just looks... It, it d no longer feels kind of like a weird creature that it's emerged from a lagoon, but instead a dragon. It actually looks more like a dragon knight wearing armor, not necessarily a dragon knight wearing like the dead body of his conquered victim, you know? Definitely a big fan of that. I can't wait to see what stats they come out with him for this one. I mean, the only thing that they really could do is to give him even more survivability. I don't know. I mean, he's already got enough armor to do. I bet you they're going to give armor. I bet you they're going to give him a nice little extra chunk of armor because of everything that went down um, with them having to fix basically the the um, mess up that they did with the numbers. So I'm probably going to assume that that's what's going to happen, but that thing looks absolutely fantastic. I almost feel, and I don't know, you guys will have to kind of chime in, it very feels, it very feels, <laughs> my grammar is like all over the place because I'm so excited about this. Um, it almost feels kind of like they took inspiration from a completely different game because it almost feels like it doesn't belong in the game. And I know that this is going to sound bad, but it almost feels like they had a Tenogen artist work on this. Oh, see, I got friends in the art department. A part of me is like, I don't want to insult them, but they stepped up their game for this one and it looks fantastic. So all of you Chroma lovers out there, I hope you rejoice because they did your boy good. Now, alongside Chroma, they did show off the Gram Prime. Now, I'm going to be just straightforward. I'm a Galatine Prime boy. So really the statistics are going to have to win me over. The model itself does look gorgeous and they, you know, they remodeled the original version because it looked like poo poo when they first launched it. So they made another version of it, which I'm like, okay, still doesn't make me love the Gram um, because it was kind of like Galatine versus Gram way back in the day. And I was definitely on the Galatine side. So it would have to take some interesting stats for me to really kind of be won over by the Gram Prime. So we'll see how that all pans out. Maybe they'll make them kind of like rivals. Maybe one is going to be more balanced and one is going to be more status. We'll have to see exactly how it all plays out. Um, because the two weapons are kind of like, they're kind of like, they're kind of like the Nicki Minaj and Cardi B of <laughs> the heavy weapon world. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, like way back in the day, they had beef. It was you were on one side or on the other. Now, the only question that kind of remains is what is the last part of this puzzle? Um, some people have speculated that the Rubico Prime would be a part of it. Um, I'm kind of hoping that we get another Arcwing Prime, but we'll just have to see exactly how it all plays out. But now I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Number one, 
Are you loving the Chroma Prime redesign? Um, are you loving the liberties that DE is taking with their art department to kind of change things up? Because the original Primes really do feel like they look a little bit dated as compared to the newer Primes that are out there. Um, not saying that, you know, they should go back and redo some of the old Primes, but you know, Frost Prime is kind of hurting. I mean, give them a little bit of love. That would be nice, but I don't know. That's just my standpoint on that. Regardless, that does about do it for me for now. They are going to be showing some gameplay with Chroma Prime tomorrow on the dev stream, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And also be aware that I will be covering the dev stream, as I always do, so keep an eye out for me on Twitter. Keep an eye out for the video that's going to pop up on YouTube. And also, make sure that you're following my Twitch channel um, because I stream there pretty much daily these days. Uh, so so that about does it for me for now. And as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your sexy chroma prom body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.